James at Class 8 Performance. Today is Muscle Monday. Continue with our LS series. We're going to talk about something that nobody really talks about. It's the reverse coin. This makes or breaks this LS engine. So let's talk about it. Reverse cooling. So the water comes in. You got your, you got, you got your water pump here. It comes in here and it does a straight 90. And it comes out into the cylinder heads. So what that does is your cylinder head is going to take, is going to get the cooler water first. And once the cylinder head gets the cooler water, it's going to go through your cylinder head, down to the back of your block, and back into the block. And so the block gets, the cylinders kind of get the rest of uh, uh, the coolness from the water, which is okay. Because if we can cool the cylinder uh, the, the cylinder head first, we didn't, we're not conducting a lot of heat into the block. So let's go to the cylinder head and we explain the reason why that reverse cooling makes or breaks the engine. So we have the cylinder head here. And you see, we have, well, we got, there's a spark plug that's in there. And so what happens is, once this, the piston comes up top dead center, right here, comes up top dead center. This is called a combustion chamber, right? It squeezes all that air in that combustion chamber. That's, what, that's how you get your compression. And then this thing, it fires the spark plug. When it fires the spark plug, the spark, the, the, it comes across, the flame comes across. It's not like an explosion like everybody think it is. The flame comes across. And it pushes the piston down. Well, when it, when that comes across, pushes the piston down, when it fires, well, all the heat when it fires is right here. So, that being said, if the, all the heat is right here, I want my water to go where the heat is at. All my cool water, because I want to cool that down first. Because if we cool this down first, then it won't... It won't Conduct it won't go down into my piston and get my piston hot, so therefore I can run uh, a, uh, a a smaller ring pack, and so it does a lot. And it doesn't uh, reason why I conduct heat. It it uh, helps on my bearings. I don't have to run a uh, a real uh, you know heavier uh, coated bearing uh, because I really don't have a lot of heat there because I'm taking all the heat out in the beginning and that is a crucial I know you boosted fans out there that love the turbo engine and put a supercharger or something on, on, on nitrous the LS engine is your number one friend okay because of reverse cooling this, you you cool down a charge, your supercharger will make more horsepower, and the last thing is us uh, street guys, you can run 11 to 1, sometimes even 11 and a half compression on the street on pump gas because you have a, you're cooling down your charge, so it's not a lot of heat right here, so if it's not a lot of heat right here, we're cooling it down, therefore, we can run a higher compression. And that's the reason why, once again, we love this thing. We love LS engines here at Class A Performance. So tune in next Monday on going over the LS engine.